She's been one of the most persistent antagonists of Wolverine. Let's find out who is Lady Deathstrike. Yuriko Oyama is the daughter of Kenji Oyama. Her father was a Japanese pilot in the Japanese military during World War II. He ended up becoming a prisoner of war after a failed kamikaze mission. Ashamed, he devoted his life to restoring his and his country's honor. After he was freed, he wrote a book and made enough money to buy a small island where he set up shop. He began going by Lord Darkwind and got married and had Yuriko and two sons. At a young age, he branded his children's faces to mark their loyalty to his cause. Lord Darkwind had been doing research for years to find a way to create his own super soldier army. Eventually, he was successful in developing a process to bond adamantium to human bones. But before he had a chance to use it and restore Japan to its might, his research was stolen. Around that same time, both of his sons died on a mission he had sent them on and his daughter Yuriko had become disenchanted with her father's obsessions. Over the next few years, Lord Darkwind kept doing research trying to recreate his adamantium bonding process. When he was once again successful, he conspired with Kingpin to bring the injured assassin Bullseye to his island to undergo the adamantium bonding process. That's when Yuriko ran across an opportunity to rid herself of her father when she met Daredevil, who was following the trail of Bullseye. She led him to her father's island where the two infiltrated his base. When Lord Darkwind confronted Daredevil, she took the opportunity to attack him from behind and kill him. Yuriko was finally freed from her father and the man she loved was also freed from his service. But her lover had become so devoted to the cause he committed suicide shortly after. Yuriko then for some reason felt the need to recover her father's work. She donned a samurai outfit becoming Lady Deathstrike. Using a device that tracked adamantium, she and her men followed it to Wolverine. She confronted Wolverine, intending to take him down to retrieve a skeleton to study it. Of course, Wolverine just wasn't going to lay down, and the two entered into a battle. Lady Deathstrike held her own against Wolverine, but was defeated by his ally, Vindicator. After suffering such a public defeat, her father's men abandoned her, leading her to seek an ally in Donald Pierce. Pierce then hooked her up with Spiral, and wanting to be on an equal playing field with Wolverine, she sacrificed her human form and allowed Spiral to transform her into a cyborg. Her new cyborg form granted her superhuman strength, enhanced speed, agility, reflexes, and endurance. Her skeleton was now laced with adamantium, making her bones almost unbreakable. Her fingers were turned into foot-long adamantium claws. She was later upgraded with a cybernetic healing factor and given the capability of cybernetically interfacing with computers. She then joined forces with the Reapers, which were cyborgs working for Donald Pierce, and attacked Wolverine. Wolverine defeated Lady Deathstrike and her allies. As she lay defeated, she begged Wolverine to kill her, but he refused. Lady Deathstrike then continued to hunt Wolverine. Sometimes she's solo, and other times she is allied with a myriad of others like Sabretooth, William Stryker, and the Sisterhood of Mutants. Her constant pursuit of Wolverine has led her into conflict with the likes of Domino, Captain America, X-23, and many, many others. There have been times she was able to put aside her hatred for Wolverine and team up with him for the good of both. Well, that's the origin with a little bit of backstory on Lady Deathstrike. Well, I guess that'll do it for today's video. As always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to stop by the channel and check out these videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. I'm Audi. Peace.